over here. Yeah, uh huh. No, yeah, just stand there. Just All get there. Right. Okay, today is uh, J is July fifteenth. We're at McKinley's, and he has a uh, a hive that was a package of carniolan that we started back on uh, April second, and they've done really well. We have uh, two full boxes of honey that we're going to pull off. Uh, we've already removed the queen excluder, and we're going to use a fume board to drive the bees out of the out of the hive. And when using a fume board, the first thing we do is put our our uh, our fume on it. We just give us a good little spring across the bottom. Okay, take a sniff of that, McKinley. Pretty bad, huh? And then we just we pop off the cover. You can put that out of the way somewhere. And then using the uh, the smoker, we smoke across the top of the frame. Now it's important you go across the top rather than down in between them because what we're trying to do is get the bees started on their downward movement out of the combs. Okay, now put the lid, put the cover on. This on? Put that on. See, it's at 12.45. We're gonna give them about five minutes. So it goes, it fits right on. For 12.50 then. Okay, at 12.50 we'll be done. Let me tell you a little bit about the fume board. What this is, this is one by four, and I made it a quarter of an inch larger than the, than the hive. In other words, it's 16 and a half wide, and it's 20 and a quarter long. That's so that it'll fit on top without any, without having to fight it. And then I took a, just a strip of one inch furring strip, and nailed around the bottom, so it makes it easy to, to sit it on. On the top, I stretched two layers of new heavy burlap and stapled it on, and then I put a piece of sheet aluminum on top, and then painted it with a matte black color. Now we do this on a warm day. If you do it on a, a day when you don't have the heat, the fumes aren't going to come out and you're not going to get the bees driven out. But you can feel, feel it, McKinley. Oh, it's yeah. very hot. And the bees don't like it, so they, they move down out of the comb. If you have any brood in your honey, the bees will not abandon the brood. So if you have some brood in there, then you're going to have a problem because they won't all come out. So let's see, we've only been a minute and a half. So let's see what else we can talk about. Um, it's been kind of a tough spring for us with a cool, rainy spring, but McKinley's bees have done really well. I extracted some honey from my uh, bees at home uh, two days ago, and it's very light, very nice honey but not uh, quite as uh, much as last year um, and I think it's a little behind last year. The sweet clover on the hills is starting to dry up but we're starting to get quite a, quite a bit of uh, lavender in people's yards and uh, the wild alfalfa is blooming so the bees are bringing in quite a bit. You can see the heavier activity and the buzzing around the hive here now so those fumes are getting down to the bees and they're not being very happy with it. So it's uh, 1248, that's three they're just, minutes. They're just pouring out through this one crack here on the side. Between the, the top two boxes and the bottom two, they're just okay. pouring out of there. <laughs> yeah. Well, good, that's, that's a sign that they're being driven out. Well, let's take a, let's lift that up, McKinney, and let's take a peek in there. Now we still have bees on there. Hang on, they're not coming out yet. They're back, back down. Mm -hmm. Get them out. What I use, uh, the, uh, the repellent that I use is called Honey Robber. It's, uh, it's marketed by, um, by Man Lake. Bego was uh, one of the originals. I used that years ago. Uh, they all smell pretty bad, but it does uh, come off once it's given a few minutes and 
comes off of the honey, so you don't get any aftertaste on it. And it doesn't kill the bees, but they sure don't like the smell of it. Jamie, can we let's step this back and see if we have any bees showing on the bottom? Do you want to see if you can lift, the, the, lift this up here to come up, just to tip it back? There's a few bees in there, but not very many. It sure smells bad, doesn't it? Do you want to sound like Tao? You're going to give me different shoes. Tao, go get him his other shoes, please. Run. In my room. They're like grayish, hiking looking shoes. Well, I think that's about got it. So we'll, uh, we'll shut off the camera now and then and we'll